beautiful people, welcome back. I am Liz Brunel, Budget 101, and today I wanna to show you one of my favorite street food recipes. This is for authentic German currywurst. Um, I love this for game day. It's a great crowd pleaser. It's dirt cheap to make, super simple, and takes about 10 minutes of time. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. First, we're gonna add two tablespoons of oil to the saucepan. This can be canola oil, vegetable oil, olive oil. I'm using olive oil here. Then you're gonna add one small onion that's fully diced and then saute it. You wanna saute this until the onion is soft and translucent. Now we're gonna add two tablespoons of red curry or madras curry and one tablespoon of your favorite paprika. I'm using hot paprika. I want it to have a little kick. Then grab a spatula and stir it up until the onions are evenly coated. We'll let the spices cook for a minute and then add two cups of crushed tomatoes that have a half a cup of sugar and a quarter cup of red wine vinegar mixed in and stir. Make sure that the spices are fully mixed into your sauce so they cook evenly. Season with salt and pepper, about a half a teaspoon of pepper, about a teaspoon of salt, give or take. This is to your taste preference. So if you're on a low sodium diet, you can reduce it if you'd like. And then reduce the heat and let the sauce simmer to create a reduction. Look at that beautifully reduced sauce. Now we're going to brown the sausages. Just throw them in a frying pan, toss them on the heat, medium heat, and make sure they're fully cooked through. These are German sausages. I got them from Lidl's. You can get them from Aldi. You can get them from your local grocery store. Cut them into half inch slices and arrange them on the plate. Now grab your nice and thick chunky sauce and spread it over the top liberally. You want a lot of sauce. This stuff is fantastic. Grab some extra yellow curry powder and sprinkle it over the top just to give it a little extra zing. And some cocktail picks and jam them in those sausages because we're not going to need a fork folks. We are going to dig in old style. Now if you like your sauce thinner, you can actually puree it or use an immersion blender in the sauce directly until it's nice and smooth. And that, my friends, is how you make the best authentic German currywurst. For those of you watching, if you like this video and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please leave me a comment below to let me know what you think. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you soon.